Howdy, this is Marshall Harrison, and we're going to take a look at this integral here from 0 to infinity dx over 1 plus x to the fourth. We're going to look at two easy ways to do it uh, using two clever substitutions, just like the title says. Okay, so let's try and get started real quick. Okay, so first of all, we're going to re rewrite re the integral as as this. You, this um, sort of looks like a Laplace transform, which it is. It is pretty much, yeah. Except for instead of like a regular um, variable like s, you know, with it, our, we're just using a squared, our variable squared. There's that x squared, you know, in the exponential, okay? So that's the only difference. So instead of getting, uh, you know, a standard Laplace transform would be, of, of the sign would be 1 over, you know, 1 plus x squared. Well, then this gives us 1 over 1 plus x in, to the fourth, which is exactly what we need. It says so right here. But look, look, what we, look what we're picking up. We're picking up another integral from 0 to infinity. So, so, so this is what we're going to find. Find integral from 0 to infinity of dx Okay, and so we put it all together. So there's our two integrals from zero to infinity, dt dx. Now we want to shift. We don't want to do dt again. We just did that. You know, we don't want to undo that. So we want to integrate. We integrate with respect to dx. So we bring dx. Anything that's related to dx, come on in. You know, join the party. You know, so we put that in this like little center area here. Okay. So the sign can come out because it's only with respect to x, I mean with t. So anything with x is in here. So we need to find the integral of e to the minus t x squared. And so we could easily do a u substitution and uh, solve for this. Very simple. Uh, this is a well-known integral. This Gauss is basically a variation of the Gaussian integral. And so this just winds up being uh, 1 over the square root of t. Okay, that's all this gives you right here. So we, we evaluated that. I use Wolfram Alpha because just we know these fairly well. But I, I'm not going to take the time to do it here. We could, we could have done it by hand. So, um, so yeah, so it's 1 over uh, the square root of t. So now we need to know the integral of sine t over the square root of t. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, and and well, this is really pi square root of pi over the square root of t. Um, and half too. So those the constants can come out front. And so anything now related to t, we got to integrate. And it turns out the integral of this guy is just the square root of pi over two. The whole thing. So these two square roots combine to give you just pi to the first power, and then we got two times root two, which is the answer. So that's pretty nifty. I mean, I've been seeing people tackle this integral um, in different math channels, and uh, you know they're trying to do it do it in different ways, and uh, it's and it's. Um, it's it's hard if if you're trying if you don't use complex variable ideas or other ways, but this uh, this is a pretty pretty clever way, quick way to do it with just um, with just uh, a clever substitution. That's all this is: just substituting something, uh, substituting a different integral in there, and then switching the order of integration. But that's just um, one way. Now another way to do it, uh, and this the way. I, I, figured out a few years ago uh just kind of as a joke um why don't we substitute we know that you know the integral from uh of zero to infinity of e to the minus st with respect to t so why don't we just put that whole <laughs> one plus x to the fourth in in right there in the exponential just put the whole thing up there to the fourth power why not? Let's see what happens. All right. Okay. So we put it in there and, um, here's what you get. You get two integrals, of course, this and the second one. Um,
And so now we, we don't want to do with integral with respect to dt because that's just what we have here. You know, that's what we started off with. So we want to switch that and integrate with respect to x. So anything with with have x in it, come come on in, join the party. Okay, so so we can split up this uh, exponential. And the e to the minus t comes out front here. And then you integrate this. And this looks kind of different. This is uh, to the x to the fourth, um, you know, which is kind of weird. But um, Wolfram Alpha can handle it. I'm sure we could do it if we needed to by hand, uh, you know, if our lives depended on it. But we just put in Wolfram Alpha, and we get this. We get zero x to the fourth dx is equal to the gamma function of five fourths over t to the quarter power. integral is going to be in the middle okay so we bring that gamma five fours out front and so now we have oh remember we had that e to the minus t out front here so now that comes inside here and we take this the quarter now this looks familiar this looks like a gamma function what it is and so this is equal to the gamma of three fourths and so you do gamma five fourths times gamma three fourths. Put it into Wolfram Alpha. It can handle, uh, you, know, you know, not non-elementary functions like this and advanced functions, I guess. And it gets there's our old good old pi over two root two. Okay. So you see how we did that? We just <laughs> we just took this. T, ignore the dx part and the other part, okay? Just look at this part. And that just gives you one over one plus x to the fourth. That just gives you the integrand right there. And then you split up the exponent and, and the functions to deal with, but Wolfram Alpha handled that very well. <laughs> and uh, once you push that all through, and recognize what you have there you get the same old school answer that we had over here pi over two times root two same thing okay so that's just this quick little uh tough integral that that's uh there's two more different kind of weird ways you can do it okay marshall harrison signing off